Well, hello, beautiful. I hope you are doing well. If you love this info, please subscribe. In today's video, I want to talk to you about why glycolic acid is the best exfoliant you can use on most skin types and concerns. You know, now more than ever, people are turning to glycolic, which is strange because glycolic has been around for decades. And glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, which is used topically, and it achieves multiple benefits in just one solution. It helps the complexion to become more radiant, more youthful, blemish-free, and it makes the skin just look noticeably more glowing and gorgeous. Glycolic acid is an exfoliant that's well tolerated by most skin types and it's used to minimize the appearance of acne, blemishes, oily skin, blackheads, pigmentation, aging skin, and sun damage. I know that must sound like a lot of hype, but trust me when I tell you that if I was stuck on a desert island where I could only use one ingredient on my clients in my office, glycolic acid would be it. Glycolic acid is the reason why we get most of the results we get. And if you are a professional and you have not mastered the art of using glycolic acid, I highly recommend that you start doing so today because glycolic acid is kind of the main ingredient that helps most of uh, the professionals out there achieve results, even though they may not know that because usually glycolic acid is formulated in a more designer peel these days that has like salicylic and everything, but just standalone by itself, glycolic acid can offer most skin types a beautiful complexion uh, regardless of the skin concern. And I know there are so many magical ingredients on the market that have a PR agent enticing you to pull out your wallet, telling you all these miracles that are gonna happen overnight or your money back. And it's just really kind of become a sad kind of part of the industry, which is to take ingredients that really will never work and to promote them and to market them in such a way so that people believe that they're special or unique when in fact, usually it's the same ingredient that you've used in the past, but it has new key keywords or they're using something very enticing to make you believe that the ingredient is new or better and it's just not. I personally prefer to stick with what works. I don't have time to sit here and ruin my reputation of not getting people results. And that's why I always, always, always use glycolic and use it up to six different times in a treatment or a facial. You know, I've been doing this for about 20 years. I've helped thousands and thousands of people with very stubborn skin issues. I specialize in extremely stubborn skin issues and it's something that I really love doing. I love being the last resort for people so that you know they can feel some sense of hope and that they're in the can't in the hands of somebody who really cares and what they don't know is that I'm not a magician but the ingredients that I use are really important like a chef in a kitchen and glycolics acid uh, glycolics acids ability to consistently deliver me and my clients results is hands down incredible and if I only had to choose one ingredient, you know, if it was like between vitamin C, vitamin A, peptides, alpha hydro, like, it, you know, all of the ingredients that are heavily promoted, if I only had to choose one, it would be glycolic acid for sure to get myself and my clients results. And for decades, glycolic has uh, remained the gold standard. You know, it has a lot of research behind it. And a lot of formulas have glycolic acid hiding in there because it's a very active ingredient that penetrates the skin. Uh, it helps with aging skin, dryness, acne, pigmentation, sun damage, acne scarring, and almost any other concern that you might have. And what's really great is it is used a little bit like a vehicle because it is able to um, penetrate deep into the skin, you're able to get that acid into the follicle where a lot of the concerns that we're dealing with actually occur, which is usually in the basal layer and in the follicle. So it helps to really, you know, glycolic acid gets, it just travels deep into the, into the follicle because of the molecular structure of it. And I personally call it the queen bee. She's like the queen bee of all acids that really is like a powerhouse and gives you the most bang for your buck. And when you use glycolic acid with any other active ingredient, you're going to see dramatic results much quicker because the glycolic acid is going into that follicle and really penetrating and allowing any ingredient that you apply afterwards to be kind of piggybacked into that follicle a little deeper, which is really great because I know all of you are very concerned with penetration and getting, you know, the most bang for your buck with these ingredients. Um, it is the most, glycolic is the most active and beneficial of all the alpha hydroxies out there in the industry. Traditionally, it was made from sugar cane, but to, but today, 
but today, excuse me, mostly it's derived synthetically just to ensure the quality and also so that people don't get an irritation with more active raw materials of like sugarcane or citrus. And it's the only alpha hydroxy that penetrates deep through the epidermis into the cell walls by virtue of its molecular size. And with that being said, that's why it's also important that it needs to be neutralized. Anything over 12 to 15% traditionally is neutralized with either water, so rinsing your face with just water, or a little bit of a mixture with water and sodium bicarbonate will help to neutralize that acid. It needs to be turned off. It's not self-neutralizing, so it'll continue the work in, percent, in percentages that are 12 to 15% unless your manufacturer says otherwise. Um, and that's really important because if you don't turn off the acid, it'll continue to create heat and inflammation and penetrate the skin. And then that's what causes a burn, like a chemical burn, or even worse, which is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is that darkness that can occur, especially if you're outside and you don't wear sunscreen. But once glycolic is in the cell, it will also trigger the stimulation of collagen synthesis and turn on the synthesis of dermal glyco glycosamine glycans, which also help plump up the skin. That's your kind of the hyaluronic that's at, in your skin. So it allows it to produce that, which is your own natural moisturizing factors on the surface of the skin, which helps with like fine lines, hydration, dryness, aging, wrinkles, and plumping up the skin. It's just amazing. If you haven't, if you haven't realized yet, I am just, it's my favorite acid to use out of all the acids and ingredients. Um, I found it to be the incre an incredible ingredient, <clears throat> excuse me, to use on really thick, really thick skin or troubled skin or really oily skin or skin that is just really not uh, well, uh, doesn't receive other ingredients very well like vitamin A. Like a lot of people have a lot of irritation with vitamin A and so I always recommend that they try glycolic because... The thing about having oily skin is that it will neutralize acid. So the goal of always when you have oily skin is to make sure that when you put on your glycolic product, whether that's a cream or a solution, that there's really not a lot of oil on your skin. Otherwise, it will help to neutralize that. But what it does in the skin, especially on like thicker and oily skin, it uh, breaks up the inner, it does this on all skin, but it, I'm mean, just explaining for oily skin um, in general, is it breaks apart that inner cellular cement that's holding the skin cells together. And that's what actually makes the top layer of the skin appear a little bit more thicky, th thicker or waxy or more dull on the surface. So that kind of dullness of discoloration and waxiness is usually brought on because someone's skin type is producing more oil and that oil is causing the natural exfoliation process that occurs on the skin every like 60 days to be slowed down and so that it gets a, a layer of dead skin buildup on the strandium corneum. It's so great too uh, because it also uh, unclogs the follicle by traveling deep into that pore. So it kind of just dissolves what's ever in that follicle, which is usually oil and bacteria and just like, you know, the thick sebum, which is oil. Um, it also allows the uh, stimulation of new skin cells, which is really great because this is very rare to find in any product on the market. You really want to start using ingredients that are very active that are going to do something for the skin. You know, moisturizers just sit on the skin. They don't do all that much. But when you use glycolic acid, it'll actually help you to produce and retain your own moisture, which is amazing. So you don't have to rely so heavily on a moisturizer. But because it's breaking up the keratin cells at the uh, basal cell layer, it's you know, it's breaking them up on the top layer, and then it's it's stimulating new keratin cells similar to like vitamin A, and then that is what travels up and comes to the surface of your skin, making that top layer of your skin just more glowing and dewy and just glowing and gorgeous. It's just amazing. It also will make it just feel more firmer and thicker and giving that kind of plumpness to the skin, helping to diminish like fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation. You know, I've already said this. So as you can see, I'm a huge fan of glycolic. I just wanted to share a little bit more information about glycolic acid so that if you used to use it, maybe you can start using it again. Or if it's off your radar, you can start to do some more research and realize that it's also usually an affordable ingredient that will give you the most bang for your buck, offering you multiple benefits. So you may want to, especially right now, given the circumstances, try to find one. We have some. I'll leave a link below with some of the products we sell that 
uh, really incredible that um, really are proven to work. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. I will be doing definitely more videos and posts about glycolic acid just because so many people are asking for them so that I can show you and prove to you that it is an ingredient that you should be using if you're really serious about this stuff. As always, remember to stay safe and gorgeous and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye.